Alright, what's going on guys? We are back today with more Pokemon Snakewood. Um, last time we fought the Death Collar Alicia, not Alicia, Alicia, make, make sure you get it right. Uh, we kind of whooped up on her, so we're going to head up this way now because this is, this is kind of the direction she ran off in. Uh, a human like you, it would be beneath me to even could well, the, all, all, of, all of your friends did not feel the same way, because <laughs> literally all of them told me that, uh, that, that they thought I was pretty delectable. So, we're going to go up this way. Um, we can use our running shoes. Okay, I guess we're not using our running shoes. Hmm? He's late. This is not acceptable. Coming, master. Okay, so this this guy, I guess, maybe this is that death collar grab grab a lie old guy. You are unacceptably late, Dentalion. I apologize, Master. This body is rather slow. It is a result, I believe, of the legs having been removed. <laughs> oh, uh, having having no feet makes it kind of hard to get around. I wonder wonder why. No, you 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 don't say. Make sure you. Oh, this is the guy. Make sure you acquire another soon. I will require you to be at your best when we challenge them. You mean the foot? Don't mention their names. Beings of such power as they can hear their names whispered over many miles. I don't wish to bring down their wrath upon us before we are ready. Yes, my master. Be silent. Although I have cloaked us with a field of invisibility, the demons of this place will hear us if we do not keep our voices down. I have found a vessel that is summoning them, however. It is in a cave to the northeast of here. Together, we will dismantle it. Yes, master. Okay, so I guess those guys are, are getting rid of the zombies. I didn't really understand this when I, when I played this part on stream. Again, we're almost to the part where we're almost to new stuff, so, so I don't really know what's going to happen after that, but... Uh, what was that? Who are they? Something about them felt familiar. Is it possible I've met them before? And how is it possible that I could see them when plainly no one else could? Yeah, because there's like a shit ton of people around here, right? <coughs> Alright, so he's he's gonna... We're gonna go try to help them out. Wait, a sign! Authorized personnel only. That was close. I almost went in somewhere I wasn't meant to. Wow, that would have... Yeah, that... that de Definitely don't want to ever do that. That No, definitely not. Those zombies in the pen down there? They're food for us, dear. By the way, that's a lovely body you managed to get yourself. Hardly a scratch on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that's me. Uh, some some kind of ghoul or whatever. Um, <laughs> what's... I sense a, present, a presence I've not felt since... You! What are you doing here? Uh, well, you know, I'm trying to save my brother and his girlfriend and, you know, everybody else. What? What? <laughs> Don't pretend you to be confused. You can't fool me, even disguised as you are. Who? Who are you? I've lost my memory and you look familiar. I'm gray, by the way. Can it be? I do not believe this to be a lie. Hmm. Very well. You may call me Gleese. It seems I have mistaken you for someone else. You must possess an uncommonly strong second sight in order to be able to see me. And I only know one other human with that power. That is where my confusion arose from. Uh, I see. Uh, I never heard you earlier saying you were going to destroy that thing that was making the demons appear, and I want to help. Came to look for my brother and his girlfriend, but an old woman asked me to drive the demons away, so I said I would, and, well... I'm going to, so let me help. <laughs> that, that, that's a <laughs> when, when random old women on the side of the road ask you for things, you always have to do it. <clears throat> you look strong, yes, but I am not sure you're quite up to this task. If you please, may I test you first, to see if you will be of any aid. Then let us begin. <laughs> okay, so here, here we go. Uh, Gleese... <laughs> He's got like electric tailist. Gleese, he's got like electric fingers or something. Face leech? Uh, oh! Is that supposed to be Remoraid? What the hell, man? That's. That's fucked up. I don't know if that's like an original or what the. That, that, I definitely don't want that on my face, though. That, that's. That seems like it's gonna do more than a, a leech would, that's for sure. That, that seems so. Oh my god! Poor sloth. Wow. 
Uh, also, I grinded up the party a little bit. As you can see, they're, they're level 15s now, which is a good thing because this guy's got a got a level 17 face leech. So that was that was a good choice, I guess. Um, speed boost raised its... Oh, that's, that's horrible. Okay, so I assume this thing's a poison type based on the fact that it's using poison fang. So it's not very effective, but it still does a shit ton of damage. Okay, but it, I guess it has like 1 HP or something because that... <laughs> That was a very, like, what the fuck? Alright, so we beat Taylor's Gleese. Well done. You will make a useful ally. Another Dark Jedi. He will join us or die. Very well. You may accompany me. I shall now heal your Pokemon. Ah, oh, that's, that's very generous of you. Thanks. My servant, Dentalion, is waiting in the cave mouth. To the east, I'll go and join him. When you have prepared yourself, please join us, and I will explain what must be done. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go with with the Taoist here. Um, I, if I remember right, none of these zombies actually want to battle me. They they just want to kind of hang out there and like they're all stuck on a stick or something. Um, so this is level nine Taylo. We're gonna run away from that because we we definitely don't need to fight it. And uh, I'm not really feeling swallow at the moment, so uh, we're gonna use the. There we go. Get a repel. Repel. Repel is the best. So none of these zombies really want to fight. So we're just gonna just gonna skip them. Um, one special plus. It's special plus. It's not just a regular special. It's a special plus. It's special on top of other special. Oh, are you gray? Y yes. I am Dantelion, servant of the one you call Gleese. Oh, right. I didn't recognize you. you. You changed bodies. Yes. I have to. What do you think of this one, by the way? Does it suit me? I, I don't have a voice for this guy. I mean, I guess it's the same guy as before, but... He he looks like a, a bro now and not a not a not a legless monster. <coughs> okay, this is gonna be Wismer Cave. I don't think I want any Wismers, so I think we're also gonna we're gonna we're gonna pass on these little mini boom boxes here. Uh, these little tape players. Turn up here and grab this. There we go. Can never can never have too many supplies, right? Sp supplies are important. Gotta gotta have those pokeballs. If you if you're gonna catch them all, you gotta have balls to catch them with. You gotta have the balls to catch these Pokemon. You can't just you can't just walk around and expect to catch them. You have to have real balls to catch Pokemon. Okay, you have to have pokeballs, balls of steel. All right. So as soon as these Wizmers want to leave me alone, we'll go talk to Dandelion. There's there's a lot of them in here, but I guess that fits because it is Wizmer Cave. <clears throat> Gray, you've arrived just in time. Come over here and we'll talk further. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you know how demons are summoned, Gray? No? Then I shall tell you. One sets up a suitable vessel for the demons to flow through from the pit. And then one casts the appropriate spell. This girl here is the vessel. She's channeling the demons through. If I can break the spell on her, no more demons will appear. So, what do I do? When the demons in the pit sense their portal to this world being closed, they will flock towards it in the hopes of getting through before it closes. I need you to beat them back before they get through. Alright, so basically I'm, I'm Gandalf, the portal is the bridge, and uh, the demons are the Balrog. So, uh, you shall not pass, demons. Let's let's do it. Take up your position, please. No, no, oh my. Kind of familiar. Ah! May? Oh, she's shopping in Slayport with her friend Elise. You know, the Cutman's daughter. Yeah, totally, the Cutman's daughter. That's that's my favorite character in Gen 3. The Cutman's daughter, everyone knows her. Are you quite alright, Gray? You appear to be swaying slightly. Yeah, I'm fine, I think. It's just a little flashback. I remember who this girl was. She's the Cutman's daughter. I remember her. Remember, yeah, who doesn't remember the Cutman's daughter? She's clearly the most notable character in all of Pokemon. It's the Cutman's daughter, you guys. Okay, um... <coughs> So, I sense a demon approaching. They're taking the Hobbit sizing guard. All right, let's do it. So the, <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> He's got like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> He's got like, what? <laughs> He's got like Brock's face, a ground on arm, and like, what? What? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck the other arm is. It's like, a, it's like a. It's like a, a, a grout on arm that didn't form all the way. What the fuck? 
Okay, so we're gonna withdraw Sloth here because I don't think he wants to. I don't think anyone wants to fight this guy, to be honest. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna bring out Smokey. Smokey's the go-to guy. He's the he's the default. He's the default mon. He can do it. If anybody can do it, it's Smokey. Smokey can. If anyone can, Smokey can. I believe in you, Smokey. You can you can smoke this guy. Smoke him, Smokey. Use your uh, use your use your poison gases. <coughs> Smog the fuck out of him. Okay, that was what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping we get a poison because I don't really know what else to do to this thing. Um, other than just hit it with poison. So, we're gonna need a little bit of leftovers. Uh, he does do a pretty decent amount of damage. I mean, 7 is not horrible, but we're able to recover some of that at least. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's really worth switching out. I think we're gonna try Big Cheese because maybe this thing has less special defense. So, we're gonna try the Big Cheese. Uh, that and the poison damage should hopefully be able to take this guy out after a little while. So he's going to take a little bit more poison damage. We're going to go in for a Thundershock here, uh, which hopefully will do a pretty decent amount. Probably not. No, not that much, but it did do a little bit more than Tackle or Smog. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like if I go for another one, Big Cheese is probably going to go down. So that's that's kind of unfortunate. Um, let's see if I actually have a potion in my bag. I do. We're going to use a Light Potion. We're going to use it on the Big Cheese. Uh, Get, get, get enough health back that he's not going to die, and then we should be able to go for a Thundershock after this turn. Oh, unless he... Electric Powers was weakened. Okay, Electric power was weakened, but I still actually think we're going to pick up a kill. Uh, because even if we hit it now, and the Thundershock doesn't kill it, it'll probably die from the poison damage afterward. So I think we're pretty good to go for another Thundershock. And the poison damage will hopefully take this guy out. And if not, we have Quick Attack to finish him off next turn. So we're good to go. Um... All right, so that's that's one tough Pokemon down. Let's let's see what else this guy's got for me, cause he's he's got something else. Is it the same Pokemon again? <laughs> All right, come on back, Pikachu. I also like how that wasn't dead. It was just it was like a regular. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, I, I don't see the dead parts of this. So, like, the demons also have regular Pokemon. They're not like all undead monstrosities. They they also have like normal ones. So I think this is the first, like, zombie, undead, demon guy we've seen with one that, that's not, like, dead as fuck or something. So, we're gonna get another poison on this thing, thankfully. Um, <coughs> unfortunately, if we do use Big Cheese again, uh, it means we're gonna have to use another potion on him. So, we're just gonna, we're, <laughs> I guess we're just gonna take the time and use Smog. Um... You know, it, it's really interesting to me that, like, this demon master guy doesn't doesn't have, like, weird Pokemon, but, but, every, oh my god, Smokey. This is why, okay, clearly, if, if we find, like, anything, if we, we, we need Smokey, Smokey has the eyesight of a, of a 90-year-old woman, uh, who's blind in one eye. I, Smokey, come on, buddy. Okay, it has a 70% accuracy rating. How? It can't miss two times in a row. Okay, you get one more miss, Smokey, then the next, like, six have to hit, because you've only hit him once. So, you, you get one more miss, and that's it. Oh, my God. The the accuracy... I, I feel like even though moves say 70%, wow, that, that did, like, no damage, because he's used hardened 50 times. Um, I feel like even though the accuracy rating is, like... You know, like it says that it's uh it it says that it's seventy percent. It's it's more like like forty. <laughs> so he's gonna go for another harden. He should take some more toxic damage. We should be able to use a little bit of electric damage. He did use mud sport earlier, but I think we'll actually be okay. Uh, between the turn of toxic damage he's about to take plus quick attack. Oh, unless he goes for harden. So we'll actually. We actually should just be able to take him out with Thundershock next turn. So, good deal. And we're faster anyway, so I guess we could have just gone for a Thundershock this turn. Don't don't even need Quick Attack, so we're good to go. Um, Smokey's going to take him out. Big Cheese taking him out. And there we go. We beat the demon. Domako, Dovaki, you're the power of your tomb, Dovakin. Firstborn of Akatosh. That's, that's, that's what that looks like to me. Uh, uh, he spoke in Hadian. He said something crude with the general meaning of, I dislike, I dislike you intensely. 
<laughs> Here comes another demon. Well, I mean, hey, you know what? It's, it's, on a scale of 1 to 10, he, he could have said something a lot worse, I guess. <laughs> Asmodeus. Oh, no. And they all have this... Oh, man. I feel like they gave them... I feel like they gave them this Pokemon just to be an asshole. Because, because they take forever to kill, uh, I, I feel like that's why the demons have this Pokemon, and for no other reason. Um, so, let's go for a smog. Um, okay, this one is clearly much more offensive than the... Uh, Smokey. Buddy, come on. I know you're sitting over there, like, eating, but you, you gotta stop stuffing your fucking face and, and actually hit them with something. There you go. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Okay, good good job, Smokey. There you go. Do do like five damage. Just make sure you get the toxic. Okay, no no poison damage that time. It's Smokey. What the fuck? Oh man, this is uh, mud mud sport. Okay, that's that's okay though. Uh, we really just want to get the poison off on this thing, and as long as it's not using Harden, I'm actually fine keeping Smokey in here. So uh, the only time we really want to go out to Big Cheese if he starts start is when he starts using Harden. So hope we can get a poison before that. There we go. Yep. Hurt by poison, fantastic. Should should eat a little leftovers. Stuff your face there, Smokey. Just eating in the middle of the battle. He's just kind of just kind of chewing down. Um, like that's like that's it's it's Sunday dinner. Good job. Your Sunday dinner, Sunday Monday. I don't know. Whatever the biggest meal of the week is, that's that's what he's eating. Like he just he's just eating like it's like he like he's just shoving his face into his food. Like what? <laughs> Which is a good question. How the fuck does coughing even eat? Because. <laughs> Coughing, coughing has to be a very unfortunate dinner guest because he has he has no hands. He's not a psychic type, so I, I don't think he can levitate the food into his mouth. So he kind of just like has to like I guess lower himself into the food and just start like eating it. I guess that's it's probably very messy and uh, and and probably not very. Uh, he, he's probably not the best dinner guest. Let's let's we'll just we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Alright, so we'll withdraw Smokey, because I think Big Cheese could probably take a scratch. Um, but he doesn't go for a scratch, he goes for another Harden for whatever reason. Um, oh my god. I, wish I, I really wish I had a water type right now. <laughs> Alright, but we're going to go for a Thundershock. It's not going to do as much because of the um, because of the mud spore. I don't quite think... Okay, the poison did kill. I, I thought he was going to live with like a little bit, but I guess not. Alright, so he's going to use Anorith again. You know what, we're going to actually try letting Lunpy take on one, because I, this this is this is taking forever. And I know Lunpy has like a few special moves, so may, maybe he can maybe he can help us here. Um, you know what, actually let's try Gust. I mean, I know they're, they're Bug Rock, I believe. Anorith is Bug Rock, but uh, you never know. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll do something. No, it did, it did nothing. It did it did like one. So, uh, but he he does take the damage pretty well. So we can actually leave him in here, and we can try going for a psychic after we get a poison off on him. There we go. Okay, so we got poison on the first turn, so that's pretty useful. Um, we're gonna go for a confusion now, and hopefully we can start getting a pretty decent amount of damage off on this thing because they seem to pretty much just use Harden over and over and over again. Alright, so that really doesn't do that much, but I don't think Thundershock with with uh, Mud Power Up is going to do that much more. So we're actually just going to leave him in here uh, and let this guy die from the next confusion we do. So, Harden. That's that's a lot. That's a very hard Anorith. That's a... Uh, so it's a very it's a very thick Anorith by this point. Like, if I, if I were Anorith, I, I would not be worried about jack shit in terms of physical damage. Alright, so we beat this demon... Uh, the power of your thum. Fusrada. Uh, hurry up, Gleese. I can't hold them off much longer. I, I mean, it's not that I can't. It's just I, I don't really want to. Uh, required spell. Great. Give me a more, moment more. There. Done it. What? Ah! Ah! What just happened? It would appear that she was consumed by the energy released from the ending of the spell. It is just as well. If she had not absorbed it, the energy would have killed us. Thank you for your invalu invaluable assistance, Grey. We will meet again.
one day. I found that profoundly disturbing. Still, I suppose I can't expect driving out demons to be a bed of roses. Now, now that they're driven out, I should continue my search for my brother in May. Maybe someone in Burden Turf knows something about them. Yeah, that's that's possible. Oh my god, Whismer. It's all Whismers. It's all Whismers all day. There's never not a Whismer. Okay, you know what? We're not going to go back all the way to the Pokemon Center. F f fuck that. We're going to we're gonna go over here. We're going to get this item. And then we're gonna get the fuck out of this Wismer cave, and and then and then we'll we'll probably call it. That's uh, that was uh. So I guess the cut man's daughter got eaten. I I'm feeling like that Glee's guy is not such a good guy. I'm feeling like he's kind of probably. I'm feeling like he's farther in in on the villain end of the spectrum because uh. Well, you know the, the cut man's daughter was clearly the best and most favorited Pokemon character of all time. So uh, clearly, clearly getting rid of her was an evil act. Um, so let's let's get out of here. What what happened here? This town is ruined. And and also there's like a like a Charizard like like Budizard over there sitting. What the fuck? <laughs> Ouch! That that hurt. What's the flashback? They don't usually hurt as much as ah. Okay, I I don't know why his flashbacks hurt. I I think in like most movies and TV shows. Flashbacks don't typically seem to hurt that much. Pestilence. Ha! The boot is on the other foot now. I knew you couldn't stand against us, and now all that remains is to bid you adieu. Adieu. <coughs> I must have passed out and fallen down the cliffs. Oh, well, good. hey, just be grateful you're not concussed. What was that? You? What are you doing here? You've interrupted me. I'll bring you to my boss. Alright, so that was a nice that was a nice two foot walk. Uh, <coughs> you. I remember you. You're pestilence. But from where do I know you? Why can't I remember anything about you other than your name? You. What are you doing here? I thought you were dead, destroyed along with that deadbeat town. But wait, you say you only remember my name? Yeah, that's right. Who who are you, Pestilence? <laughs> uh okay. I I at least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but <clears throat> the impact appears to have at least erased your memory. You say, however, I, Pestilence, the only female member of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, cannot afford any loose ends. Okay, so I guess she's like, she's one of the people they were going to fight earlier, because, uh, I mean, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So she's going to send out Mulder. Oh, Grimer, what do they do to you? This one's going to be a little bit of a longer one. I, I figured we'd just walk out of the cave and it, it'd be over, but I didn't remember this This whole thing was here. In fact, I don't think we've ever beaten this lady, so I, I guess this will be like new beginnings. All right, so we're going to use Yawn because I don't really know what this thing wants to do, but uh, it is level 16, so it's a little bit of a threat at least. Um, so we're going to go for Yawn. Uh, since it's going to fall asleep this turn, I feel pretty safe bringing in Lumpy. Uh, because even if he hits it once, I know Lumpy can probably take it out with some Psychics after that. So he's going to go for Harden, which is fine because Psychic is a special type move. So we can definitely get in some good damage here on Molder. So let's let's throw some confusion its way and, and hopefully it's still super effective. Um, it is super effective, but it still does jack shit because we're uh, we're a Dustox. And uh, well, he, <laughs> he's, he's fucking Dustox, that's why. Uh, so... We're going to keep using Confusion on this Molder, and uh, hopefully he won't wake up by the time we've killed him. Like, hopefully we kill him before he wakes up. We'll go for another Confusion. It should be his third turn of Confusion, uh, or third or fourth turn, I guess, and he woke up. So, that's fine, but one pound is better than three pounds, so... Unless she uses a full restore, and then, and then I guess I guess it's like I've, I've done nothing this entire time, which, uh... That's, that's a, you know... To, to empathize with the P NPCs in this game, they must feel that way pretty much every time a trainer uses a potion. Like, they <laughs> they work so hard to get you down to, like, 1 HP, and then you use a full restore, and then they do it again, and you use another full restore, and then they do it again. Wow, I guess, so I guess coughing is not the only one who needs some glasses, because apparently this, this lady's Moldor is not... Uh, this this dead Grimer needs some new eyes. It probably probably rotted in its head. Um, so we're gonna get a little bit of EXP from that. She has another Molder. Um, we're gonna send Sloth out to deal with this one as well. Um, 
just because, I mean, the yawn seemed to kind of do us good last time. Um, plus, this one's a little bit higher level. So he's going to use acid. We should be able to take that pretty well. And luckily, no poison damage. So we're actually going to stay in on Sloth. Um, well, actually, actually, I think we'll switch out because he's he's going to... He's gonna get his his thing this turn. He's gonna uh, he's gonna slack off this turn. So we're gonna pull out Stardust instead. Um, he's gonna go for a Harden. I was kind of hoping to avoid that, but uh, oh well. Kind of hoping to avoid that with Sleep, but we're gonna go for some Headbutts and see how much that does. I'm hoping it does a little bit more, maybe than. Uh, nope, not not very much damage there. Um, so let's go for a couple Tail Whips um, because I figure this way by the time it wakes up. We'll actually be able to build up some decent damage on it because now it's back at neutral. So if we go for another tail whip, it'll be a minus one. So if it doesn't wake up this turn, we should actually be able to hit it. Yep, we should be able to hit it one or two times with a headbutt while this uh, molders at minus one. And then if it does wake up, it'll just be at its regular. Um, there we go. Yeah, it'll. So now it's back up at regular defense. But so headbutt should still do a pretty decent amount. Uh, we should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, Toxic, that's kind of unfortunate, because that's a guaranteed poison, but I don't think, unless she uses a full restore, I don't think we'll, we should take too much damage um, by by the time we've taken this thing out. So let's go for another headbutt, and that should wrap it up. So, that's her second molder down. Uh, I wonder if her third Pokemon's also going to be a molder, very possible. It's a Quillfish. So, I feel like Big Cheese can handle this if we give him a potion, so we're actually going to swap out into Big Cheese. Um, gonna make this really simple. I like how her first two are like these horribly deformed Grimers, and her last one is just like a regular Quillfish. Also, qu Quillfish. Quillfish is really fucking puffy, like. <laughs> puffy as fuck. Um. A critic. Oh, jeez. That, that did a lot of damage. Uh, well, I mean, Big Cheese, he's not overly defensive, I guess. Water Gun? Oh, please take that. Oh jeez, he he doesn't take the he's not taking those very well. So we're gonna go for a thunder shock. That didn't do very much. <coughs> All right, so we know that this thing is a little bit faster than we are. So um, we're actually actually you know what? Since this isn't really a lock, we're actually just gonna go for a quick attack, get a little bit of extra damage off on this thing. Um, that's fine because we're probably gonna go down this turn anyway. So uh, he's going to take us out with the Pin Missile. Quillfish, I guess, in this game is super defensive because uh, he took that Thundershock really well. Uh, so I don't really know who to send out. I know Lunpy can get a super effective move off with Confusion because Quillfish is water poison. So I'm going to send out Sloth instead, and we're going to have him go for a Yawn. Um, just to put this thing to sleep. If he can survive Water Gun, because that seemed to do a lot of damage to Big Cheese. So he, he does survive it pretty well. Um, that made Quillfish pretty pretty sleepy there. We're going to stay in. We're going to go for uh, a... a we're, we're probably going to slack off this turn. But that's okay because I just want the sleep to take effect um, before we really do anything else. There we go. Um, wasn't really looking for anyone else to get um, toxic. Um, but just in case... I mean, I guess I, don't, I guess it wouldn't affect a dust ox because he is... I, if I'm not mistaken, he is a poison type. But oh well. So we're going to go for a few confusions. Unless he wakes up on the first turn and kills Lumpy. That's, that's a... That's great. Uh, that's exactly what, what we wanted. That's what we truly wanted. That's why we went to all that trouble. Um, so we're going to use our last potion here. And uh, with that, if, as long as she doesn't have another full restore, we actually should be good to go in terms of beating this Quillfish. Um, because this should only do 10 damage unless it's a crit, which should give us room for one more confusion. Maybe two. Unless it's a crit and we live on one. Good job, Lumpy. Take it. <laughs> Taking those crits like they're... Uh, like it's your birthday. Good good job, Lumpy. Okay, so we're going to pull out Sloth again. Sloth is actually probably going to go down to the water gun, but that's okay because that'll give us a fresh uh, switch into somebody else. Uh, he's going to go for a Poison Sting, which we know from last time. Still does a pretty decent amount, and it's a crit. Uh, he's going to get hit by the poison damage, so Sloth will go down, but we kind of expected that, uh, which should allow us to bring in Ziggy here, uh, Mr. Stardust, and uh, that, that should be that. We should be able to go for a headbutt and finish this thing off. That water gun does a lot of damage. So there's poison sting for that. I guess Quillfish, I guess I don't know. Maybe I don't maybe I underestimate Quillfish, or maybe it's just in this game. He's like, but <laughs> her Quillfish is like a badass. Um, you've certainly increased in power. 
well, that's, well, you're using a level 18, so. <laughs> no matter. We shall leave this base for now and build ourselves another one. Come, Alicia. So this is like their base or something, I guess? I'm so sorry, Gray. I didn't recognize you in that disguise. Please, forgive me for attacking you those times, but times have changed. I work for the horsemen now. I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you this time. But next time, I'll go all out against you. Alicia, wait! Okay, so I guess she's like... It's no use. She's not coming back. What is going on here? How do all these people know me? Why can't I remember anything about them? Wait a minute. What's that? Picked up the red thing. Well, it looked like a Pokeball, but... It's a Pokedex! Okay. So that was, uh... Is this my brother's? He had one, I think. No, wait. He'd completed his. Seemed to remember May had one that she didn't finish. Didn't she? So this is hers! But what was Pestilence doing with May's Pokedex? I probably stand a good chance of finding out if I continue my search for now. I'll use this Pokedex myself. Alright, so... Basically... So that was kind of a tough battle. Um, but basically, I guess that chick is... Uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess she's like our, our friend or lover or secret father, friend or father, brother or secret lover or something like that. So anyway, uh, I guess we'll find out at some point. But for now, we're going to end. We, def we went a little over 30 minutes, which is a really long video, but um, it was kind of just stuff after stuff after stuff. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I had fun today. Hope you guys did as well. If you did make it to the end of this super long video... Uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment if you uh, leave a comment if you feel like you got something to say. And uh, hopefully we see you guys in the next video. So until then, peace out.